video, we're going to photograph a little bit more jewelry using items from the MSJ1 Jewelry Toolkit, using the MS20 Photo Studio and the stand. All those products come together in the MS20J, which is a jewelry photography kit. Um, I'm going to start off by shooting some watches. Now we have this uh, uh, clear acrylic watch stand, and I've got a diesel watch here. I've already kind of put the watch on. It goes on real easily. I'm going to stick that in the center of the, my studio. I'm going to get the bounce cards fairly close to reflect as much light onto it as possible. Now I'm using just a basic Canon power shot. Uh, this is actually about three years old. I'm going to zoom in on my item, kind of get it to fill mostly fill the frame, and take a shot. And you can see that with that seamless white background, the color corrected light. The watch actually appears like it's almost floating, and that's that's the idea with this. It uh, minimizes any use of Photoshop afterwards in your post editing. Um, now, one of the great things about the MS20 and the MSJ1 Jewelry Toolkit is there's so many different ways to photograph uh, different types of jewelry. I'm going to do another watch, but instead of using the watch stand, I'm going to use this uh, reflective acrylic. You may have seen that in some of our other videos. I've got right here. This is a, uh, it's just a silver Gucci watch. And I'm going to put this right in here, like so. And this is gonna give us a reflection right underneath our item. And you may notice that even though the clear acrylic was black, because everything around it is white, it's actually reflecting white. Um, and so you actually, the, the net effect is kind of a gray, grayish white uh, background and there you go and that's just a lovely shot you see this type of um, this type of effect in a lot of professional jewelry photography keep an eye out for it and you will see it okay now we're gonna move on to rings and I've got uh, right here I've got a woman's diamond ring I'm not sure what the stone is in the middle but it's kind of blue and I'm gonna use um, some of the props to do a couple different ways to photograph a ring like I said, I like to get more than one look to every product that I shoot. So I'm going to start off with this reflective acrylic since it's already in there. And I'm going to position this about in the center. I've got the acrylic kind of running long ways in here. And I'm going to get my camera. All right. And I'm going to focus in that ring. I don't know if you can see that, but. So we've got a nice one of those uh, shots again with the mirror of the ring underneath. So that's something to choose from. Now if we don't want that reflection, which you don't always want that reflection, you certainly don't want to overdo an effect if you do a lot of photography. You don't want to be known as one dimensional photographer or something. So I'm actually going to use the black necklace stand as the base. And I'm going to, this will give me a flat back, black background. I've got the, we're in the white photo studio and the white walls and the bounce cards are going to give me good lighting, but I'm actually going to use the black base as the background for the ring. So I want it all black in there. And there you go. So there's an alternate type of shot. Now, one other thing we can do with this is uh, this ring, obviously, it's too small and too thin to stand up on its own. So, but I kind of want to see it standing up in kind of a more three-dimensional shot. So I'm going to use some of this uh, the jewelry positioning wax, which um, I showed you in another video. This stuff is so handy. I'm just going to peel off just a very small bit of it, roll it into kind of a little bit of a ball, and I'm going to put that right under the band of the ring. And I'm going to set it into my studio. And it look magically standing up into the camera as I it can't even see it. Now I'm going to take that shot. So you saw there really quickly three different ways to shoot a ring. Now of course we can um, you can get creative and do all kinds of different things. Well that does it for this segment. I hope that was helpful and gave you some ideas as to how you can use the items in the MS20J to uh, take great jewelry photographs. And um, I hope you'll join me again for another great tips and techniques video.